Hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, Hello. good evening. How are you? Fine. Fine. You? Fine. Fine. How is everything going? Fine. Sorry. Let me see, who do we have? There you are, Jose and Jose Manzano and Jose Hernandez. You were not in class last night. I'm sorry, well. please accept my apologies. <laughs> I accept your apologies. All Happy right. Connection. Thank you. Juan Ho was not in class either. Well, I sent you a message, so you know. You know, I know, but it's all right. I know it was raining. <laughs> it was not raining, it was pouring. <laughs> Well, welcome. Thank you for being in class tonight. Hey, Jonathan, where have you been? Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay. Well, thank you for being in class. We're going to get started. Me, I'm all right. I'm always tired and always happy. So I guess it's everybody's case, right? <laughs> Can you relate to that? Always tired, but always happy. I guess. All right. Uh, we left off here. Let me see. Hold on. Yep. There it is. Section 3.2. So everybody access the platform. All right. Uh, who wants to read the objective? This is not yours. Sorry. One second. This is for you. Can I? Sorry. Hold on. This is not the right one. This is the previous one. My other groups. How do you feel with the new policies the president mentioned? Mm, very scary. Yes, right? Yeah. I know it's scary. Modulo uno. This one. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we are in model three. It's terrible. It's not working like that here. We're still in quarantine, but it's a little bit more relaxed now. And in your case, it's been, it's making it, or he's making it more strict. So it's the opposite way. But well, we're not going to talk about that. Let's try to enjoy this moment. Okay, Flor, can you read the objective, please? Improving your English language child with the relation on adjectives and nouns. By the end of this class, you will learn how to express express your opinion about houses and departments. Additionally, you will believe to describe your house or apartment in English and use evaluating process sure as apartments are too small or for fit houses are too expensive or houses cost too much too much money thank you i'm muting everyone unless you have to participate or something all right yes if i'm not wrong eh, we already watched this video let me see or was it the previous one we're gonna be comparing houses versus the part uh, versus apartments I guess we call them departments here, so I was confused. Okay, we watched the entire video, so now we only need to look at the structure and how it is built. Let me see. Hi. Yes, this is a video we watched. It's pretty long. All right, take a look. I need you to take a screenshot of this, please. What is going on with my internet? What did I do? Give me one second. Patience, please. Okay. 
Then this follows enough. Okay. Now, uh, somebody please take a screenshot of this. Send it to the group. Or I'll do it, but mine is not as good as the one you might take. First, we're going to practice with... Um, with these. The ones here. Let's see. We're going to be comparing, right? Okay, we have to use as, then adjective, and then as, all right? To describe something. Then we're going to use as and many and as, all right? That's number two. We're only going to focus on these right now. And then we're going to use as, then match, as, okay? First, let's do this. We're going to go step by step because I don't want you to get confused. First, we're going to focus on this structure, all right? Okay, I have heard some people say, I've heard some people say, for example, I, my, my dog, my dog is, I don't know how you even say it, but when you want to say it's equal, you don't want to say that the dog. No, I, let me. Let me see if I can give you. Yeah, I, I was about to say that my dog is as beautiful as yours. Uh huh. The thing is that when you want to say something is equal, it's not more and it's not less. Mm -hmm. What you have to use is as, all right? So you're going to say, my dog is as beautiful as yours. Okay, so here we have the structure. We are comparing, but we're saying that there the same all right okay now let's see another thing that is equal with an adjective we're going to use the adjective uh big what can we say that's equal in size let's think of an example how would you say my house big. is as big as my mother house Aha, uh -huh, that could be one. My house is as big as my mother's house. Great example. We're using adjectives. Okay. Now we're going to say, um, hold on. We're going to say pizza hat versus, tell me another pizza brand. Domino's Pizza. Domino's. Domino's. Oh, I miss Pizza Hut. We don't have any. All right, Pizza Hut versus Domino's. What do they have in common? Pizza Hut is delicious. It's as delicious as Domino's Pizza. That was great. Okay, don't forget that you need to use both of them. All right, you have as, we, uh, the pronunciation is as a Z, okay? Make sure you say that because otherwise you're going to be saying something else. All right, so as, with a Z. Pizza hat is as delicious as Domino pizza. Okay, so I'm going to give you a list of things. I want you to compare, but I want you to find the things they have in common, all right? So find the things in common, the, the things they have in common. This is the activity. Right now, we're only going to practice as plus adjective plus as, okay? And here are the things. Help me out. What are we going to compare? We're going to compare La Gran Vía versus 
nuestro centro. El temor, las cascadas. Nuestro centro. But you have to find something in common, okay? Something mm -hmm. that they have in common. All right, what else? We're going to compare. Um, pupusas versus tacos. Mm. Do, they have, do they have something in common? I don't think um, so. No. Red beans. <laughs> uh, bananas. Tamales. Versus, uh, mm. I was thinking of tamales because they have some tamales. Okay. Yes. <laughs> what else? <laughs> what else? <laughs> Come on, similar things. Let's think quickly because we have to work on this. Uh -huh. um, We're going to say um, a dog versus another famous shoe store. Oh my gosh, I forgot it. Leash, leash shoes. It's a parrot. Ah. Leash shoes. Leash shoes. I know. MD, MD, MD. All right. MD, yes. MD. All right, great. Now we're also going to compare English versus Spanish. You have to find something in common, all right? What else? Um, mm -mm, one more thing, come on. Mm, one more and we're gonna be done, hold on. Android versus Apple. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Great. With these five, we're going to find things in common, and I want you to use this structure, all right? Please take a screenshot. Let's make five sentences. I'll give you five minutes, so one minute per sentence. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's work in small groups of three. Here we go. Accept the invitation, please. La Gran Vía is, is as expensive as Metro Center is. Okay. What about you, Milton? It's as expensive uh, as Metro Centro. Metro Centro. Uh huh. Period. Pupusa. Okay. Uh, let me try. Uh, La Gran Vía. As beautiful as Metro Center. That is not true, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. That's false. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is as crowded. Maybe Gran Vía is as crowded as Metro Center, right? 
Metal cent. Okay. Oh, it's uh, uh, more expensive. No, the thing is we need to find something in common. Something. To use the structure. Metal cent is more expensive. No, no, no. You, we're not saying more or less. We're saying as, as, to compare. Something they have in common. Something is equal. So, for example, you can say... Uh, a lot of stores? Uh -huh, okay. No, that's a different one. So, we're going to say, for example, La Gran Vía is as. You need an adjective. One adjective. That's something they have in common. Using an adjective. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful. Big. Big. Small. Big, small. Crowded. Popular. Expensive. You need one adjective. Look at the, the images I sent you on WhatsApp so that you can see the structure. Yeah. But you have to use adjectives. Later, we're going to use many and much. Right now, we're not. Are we missing something? Um, English versus Spanish. English versus Spanish. I think it's like uh, English is as easy as as a Spanish. As Spanish. Mm. Uh, English is uh, I don't know. Probably uh, as as difficult. More practical, no. I think uh, English can be a little bit easier than Spanish, it but just a little. Because the phonetics of English are difficult, but grammar from Spanish is complicated. Complicated. So, hey Juanjo, where do you live? In La Cima Tres. Ah, okay. So you go through the stadium and then up, 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 right? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I think. <laughs> go on, I need to check on everyone. <laughs> well, you are a Greek, Catherine. Well, in my case, I consider that both brands are, are okay because I like a book in my yeah, the the difference of uh, Fernandez in, between a dog and an MD is is no, it's not the quality exactly. I think that, that uh, yes, quality. That, uh, that, uh, has, MD has more quality in shows. Yeah, I think so. But the the difference is that a dog browns are national brown. I mean, are they produce a national products. You know, yeah, the thing is, we're trying to find the similarity so that we can use the, yeah. the formula. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we, we can't mm -hmm. discuss the differences right now. The, the dog brown is a more as, as more popular than MD brown, no, as popular as MD, as MD no, brown, as mm -hmm. popular as look at the hamburger I sent you, okay. <laughs> as, mm -hmm. adjective as okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Number. Yes. The the last one. I'll do the last one. Hello, teacher. Hi. You finished? We have we have a question. Yes. Tell me. We finished. We have we have a question. Uh, in in this case, uh, we we say uh, Android is better. Is as better as Apple. Is no, correct, no. or we can say Android is as best okay. as Listen. Apple. No, but best and better are a comparative and superlative. You need the adjective, only the adjective. What's the adjective? It's good. Ah, it's based on adjective. As good. Adjective. As good. Okay. That's it. No, uh, as good. Okay. It's the, it's the same. It's equal. Ah, okay. Entonces it's adjective. Nosotros estamos confundiendo con superlativo o comparative. No, look at the yes. Look at the hamburger I sent you. It says as adjective as. That's it. You're not gonna find mm -hmm. the adjective. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Entonces nos confundimos nosotros en en 
en el objetivo. <laughs> ok. We are clear. We are all finish. All right, we finish. Okay, but modify one because maybe you made a mistake. Tell me another one. Uh, you say pupusas is as delicious as tamales. Okay, but pupusas is plural, so is is incorrect. Pupusas, pupusas are, are. Ah, okay. Is a uh, Es un detalle que no lo tomamos en cuenta. Ok. Pupusas <laughs> are. Yes, sir. Delicious. The are as delicious as tamales. Ah, ok. It's topic. All right, we're going to go back. Ok. Uh, We're back. Okay. We're as many students as last night. 25. As many as. We're going to practice that right now. Okay. I'm taking you step by step so you don't get confused. Because it is confusing. I, I have to admit it. But let's see. At, let's look at the examples you made. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so. La Gran Vía versus Metro Centro. I need a volunteer. Just one. Yeah, me. me. Go ahead. Um, uh, the Gran Vía uh, Commercial Center has... It's a shopping mall, actually. It's a, it's a mall. A mall. Okay. Yeah. La Gran Vía Mall has... Yeah. As, 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 as visiting... <laughs> more people visited than us uh, Metro Central. Yeah, the thing is that you can only use one adjective. We're not using more, we're not using less. Okay, we're talking yeah, about something that is equal, okay. right? So, La okay. Grandia is as popular as Metro Central. As Metro Central. Yes, we're not yeah, talking about differences, guys. We're talking about okay. similarities okay. tonight. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, though. Pupusas versus tamales. What are what do they have in common? Anybody who wants to participate? Tamales are as Salvadorian as pupusas. <laughs> what? <laughs> and you are a Salvadorian as pupusas too, then. <laughs> yeah. That's the analogy. <laughs> Great. All right. I know everybody mute the microphones, please. I cannot even hear myself. Hold on. Teacher, teacher, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Be, uh, after tamales, we use as or we we have to use are. Are. After tamales. Are. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Are. Okay. Yes, I'm going to underline this because this is what we're practicing. So you remember. But yes, we're using the verb because we're talking about um, adjectives. Okay. I'm going to say who will participate, all right, so that we don't make noise. Eh, Kelida, ad hoc versus MD. You're muted. As, okay. Ad hoc okay. is? Ad hoc is as, um, is a big store as MD. Is a big store as a big store shoes. As MD. You, no, but we only need the adjective. So maybe a dog is as big as MD. Simple as that. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you, though. All right. Next one. Sergio. Okay. Jonathan, you will be next. Mm -hmm. Sergio? Okay. Uh, English. Uh, are as difficult Sorry, as Spanish. Singular. English is singular, so you have to say English. Oh, okay. English is as difficult as Spanish. Okay, and here, don't make a point. I heard a lot of you say, if you're watching TV, please lower the volume. All right, English is as difficult as Spanish. Okay, connect the sound. All right, don't say this. 
podría ser English class is as easy as Spanish. Yes, yes. You're changing. Okay. No, no, of course. But guys, okay. don't say as a Spanish. Say as Spanish. As Spanish. Okay. Same sound. You have to connect everything you say, all right? So as Spanish. Very good. And and mm -hmm. can be English is easy to learn as well as Spanish. Can it be? It's a question. You need a subject. Can it be? Can it be what? I'm sorry. <laughs> what was you your question? Me? No, now I don't hear you. Okay. I give you another example. Go ahead. English is easy to learn as well as Spanish. Is it correct? No, you have to say English. Hold on. English is as easy to learn as Spanish. That works too. You're adding something else, but it still works. All right, and finally, Android versus Apple. Uh, Android is as good. Is as good as. Android is as good as Apple. We're saying they're the same in everything, right? Okay, now we're going to practice countables and uncountables. Guys, don't mute, don't unmute yourself, sorry. All right, we're gonna practice as much we're gonna use for countables or uncountables. Uncountable. Uncountables, very good. Uncountable. What about many? Countable. Countables, very good. Okay, and here are the things we're gonna be discussing. All right, you're gonna ask your partner. For example, imagine I'm working with Fabiola. Can you hear me, Fabiola? Yes. There you are, imagine. We're gonna work with sugar. Okay, I will ask you this question, listen. How much sugar do you put on your coffee? In your coffee? How much? Um, two spoons. Two spoons. In my case, I put one spoon or no, no sugar at all. So I'm going to make a sentence. I'm going to make a negative sentence, guys. Okay. I say, I don't ah, okay. put as much as much as sugar as Fabiola. Okay. Okay. This is the sentence here. Is that clear? We have to discuss, all right? Then, for example, I will ask someone else. And let me see. Jackie. Yes, Jackie, teacher? how much money, how much money do you have in your pocket right now? Um I don't have I don't have <laughs> you don't have any money <laughs> any money okay i don't have any money in my pocket either so i'm going to say i have i have what guys help me come on i have nothing as mm, much money <laughs> much, much money as jacqueline tengo tanto dinero como ella o sea nada <laughs> <laughs> All right, but it still works because this is uncountable. Is that clear? Questions? All right, these are the things you're going to be discussing sugar in your coffee, money in your pocket, for a new chore in your house because it's also uncountable. We're going to say uh, how much water you drink, all right, because that's uncountable. How much coffee you drink, okay, and that's about it. Are you ready? You have to ask a question. How much, la la la, how much sugar do you put in your coffee? 
money do you have? How much furniture do you have in your house? And then make a sentence. Similar to the example. If you want to, please take a, sc a screenshot and we're gonna be making sentences, okay? With different people, ready? Yes, no? Yes, we got ready. Yes, teacher. Ready. Let's work then. Yes. Hold on, let me move some people because I have a big group here and a small one. Go to this room. Accept the invitation, please. And let's practice. Uh, how much of water do you drink? Well, I try to drink the eight, the eight cup vasos. I consider that is the right word, Gla right? Cup. Glasses, so cup, okay. Okay. Entonces es, I... I drink as yes. water as, as you. Much, as much. As much water as you. Water. Yes, look at the example. Um, You can make them affirmative or negative. I don't like as much sugar. The first one can be I don't like. I don't like as much sugar as. Like another name can be. Hey, I don't like it as much. Mm. I don't like sugar as much. No, that is different. Okay. Say I don't I don't add, I don't put, I don't eat, I don't consume and so on. But not like in this case. Because it would change it. It's okay, but it would change it. And that's something like that. Yeah. I guess so. Literally. Literally. 
little you were right oh in, in my case too little too little uh in a day okay. all right yeah. so go ahead Herbert, Herbert. <laughs> All right. So I drink as much water as a, a soccer player. Yes, me. I drink as much water as uh, someone who exercises a lot. Ooh. All right. So, how much coffee do you drink? I I drink coffee as much as No sé con qué compararlo porque no tomo mucho café. <laughs> but you can compare it to somebody from your team, the server, Fernando. We're going to go back anyway. All right. We are back. Great. I think that was a little complicated, but you will manage in the end. Let's see. I need three examples, please, and we move on quickly. Go ahead. I drink as much water as somebody that plays soccer. I drink as much water as a soccer player. That's good. Uh, you were supposed to compare your answers with the ones in your team, but it's all right. I mean, all right, another example. Mm. How about water, coffee, money? Okay, money. Huh? Money. Um, I have as much money as Santiago. Very good. As much money as Santiago. That's very hard to tell, but let's take it as right. Okay, in case that you don't match, you're going to use the negative form, all right? Very good. One more. Um, I don't. I don't uh, drink. I I don't drink as much coffee as uh, Flor. Yes. Perfect. Excellent job, guys. All right, now I think this is clear. We already compared as adjective as, now as much as, and now we're gonna move on to as many as, okay? For example. Same case. Yes, now we're gonna work with countables. It's same dynamic, we're gonna compare it with somebody from uh, our team. Let me ask Jose Hernandez, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Jose Hernandez, and let me see. How many siblings do you have? I'm sorry. But everybody, everybody pay attention, please, because this is how it works. First, you discuss the questions, and then you write a sentence, okay? Jose Hernandez, how many siblings do you have? How many? Siblings do you have? Siblings. Uh, actually, I, I have one daughter. Oh, no, but siblings? Siblings means brothers and sisters, guys. Yeah. So, no, no eran hijos. No, siblings no. es hermanos. It includes his brothers and sisters, both. Well, I'm sorry for that mistake. No, it's okay. uh, I have one brother. One brother? Yes. Okay, in my case, I have one brother and one sister. So I will write. I don't, ha, what should I write guys? I don't what? This is a question. I don't have siblings. No, 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 okay. No. Jose said I have one brother. I said I have one brother and one sister. So I'm gonna have to make a negative sentence because it's not equal, it's not the same. So I'm gonna say I don't what? 
I have, I don't have many as many siblings as many as, siblings as as Jose. What simply si what simply is mine? It means brothers and sisters. Uh, yes, this is the question we discussed. All right, one more example. Juan Ho. Juan. Hi. Juan, how many languages do you speak? Mm. How many languages do you speak? One and a half. <laughs> One and a half. Spanish. <laughs> Spanish and English, right? Spanish and English. Okay, I speak a little Portuguese and French, so I'm gonna say one doesn't. What guys? French. As many languages as me. Qué pretenciosa oh, esa oración, pero bueno. <laughs> you don't speak as many languages as it's me. Real, huh? It's real, it's real, it's <laughs> real. <laughs> All right, so as many languages as, okay? Is that clear? So, so yeah. both of them are negative because we, we didn't give the right answers. All right, ready to practice? This time I hope you can practice with different people. Hold on, let me move some of you. One second. Okay. Use your microphone, please. Ready. Accept the invitation. Okay, another. Okay. Um, countries. How many countries have you visited? Visited. Hi, Ramiro, can you hear me? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to send you another invitation. Accept it. Please. Okay, okay. Um, the next. Next. Yes. Next. Okay. How many hours do you sleep? Okay. Um, Anna doesn't 
doesn't sleep as many hours as me. Uh, yeah. Okay. Eh, Miguel. Miguel, uh -huh. Miguel. Yes, Miguel. Miguel, yes. Could, could you? The, the last one. How many languages do you speak? I don't visit. I don't visit as many countries as Fabiola. No, I visit as I visit as many a country as I visit. me. You visit. Sorry, let me check. I, I, yeah. And Julio, what? How much? How many countries? Sorry. Doesn't, uh huh. Mm, doesn't. Quiero ver as a many sería. Country. As many. As, as, as many, many countries. countries. Mm. As Marielos. As Marielos. Mm. Sí, está bien. Quiero ver la otra es how many hours pues en esta cuarentena solo duermo como tres quiero ver okay. los demás I sleep um, six how, how hours how many, how many hours do you do you sleep, sleep? Okay. All right, practice is over. Let's see, what did you write? Uh, pairs of shoes, who wants to give me an example? I have as many pairs of shoes as Fernando. Many pairs of shoes, how many? How four. many do you have? Four? <laughs> four pairs. Okay. Great. So you guys have the same number. Leo, give me an example. Leo, I can hear you. Remember you're muted, guys. I have as many yeah, uh, no, I don't, I know. <laughs> Maybe other. Okay, someone else. Me? Go ahead. Okay. Um, Leo didn't visit as many countries as me. Is correct? <laughs> yeah, Leo hasn't. Visited. Ah, okay, okay. Hasn't visited as many countries as me. Or you can say as I have. Okay. Or as me. Okay, great. That's another one. Like, you haven't visited as many countries as me. It sounds like that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't visited as many. All right, that works. Anybody else? Teacher. Go ahead. Uh, I don't sleep as many hours as another. As many hours as others, you mean? Okay. Yes, yeah, that's, that works. Okay, one more. Yes, miss. My house doesn't have as many rooms as Josie. My house doesn't have as many rooms as? Are you talking about me? As Josie's house. Me or someone else? You. Oh, okay. How many rooms are there in your house? Well, um, um four. I'm sorry. <laughs> My house uh, just has two rooms. 
Yeah, mine too. So we have as many. <laughs> it's not a, it doesn't have. We're going to say my house has as many rooms as those. Okay. Yes, it's the same. Okay. It's, here. it's actually an apartment. Okay, very good. One more. My house. <laughs> my house. <laughs> my spelling is out of hand right now. One more. Okay, uh, I don't speak as many language as Pope. I don't speak as many languages as the Pope. Great, good example. All right, I guess that with all this practice, it's clear now, isn't it? Because this is the last time we will see this topic. Okay. Is it clear? If I'm not wrong, there's an exercise related to this, and we're going to do that tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll work on a section 3.2 with those words. But I hope that you found this, this practice useful, all right? One of these days we're going to do speaking practice mostly because today and last night we were doing a lot of writing and making exercises, I mean doing exercises and making sentences, which is okay, but I also want you to speak a lot. So one of these days we're going to do a practice. Okay. Any questions? I have a personal question for you, Josie. Go ahead. Tell me. Uh, since you live in Argentina, uh, have you tried the, the beverage called mate? Yes, I was That's actually, uh, a funny question. Look, That's good. I was actually just good. having one right now, but I was having mate cocido, look. I don't, mm -hmm. I, I prefer mate cocido because it's easier, because you have the tea bag, look, you have the tea bag, but the other one, it's really hard to make. I don't know how to make it. Somebody has to. I used to think that that, that beverage mm -hmm. was an alcoholic one. Alcoholic. Alcoholic, I'm sorry. No, you know what? It, it gives you the effect of coffee because it has caffeine. It's like drinking English tea, mm. the dark one. Yeah. And it is good, I like it. it. If you like herbal teas, you like mate. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's fine you can ask me anything uh any other questions <laughs> whenever i go to the tower i'm gonna bring mate in, in. Mm, oh, yeah. what's the other thing just yeah. in your dreams you'll travel yeah. it's my favorite too <laughs> what's the other beverage i can't mm. remember i can't remember that yeah in my dreams, I'll travel. You're saying, yeah, probably, right? We're going to be restricted and prevented from doing anything. <laughs> All sorts of things. I won't be able to. Delicious. Yes. Okay. Any other questions? No? No question. Oh, oh clear for me. Great. We're good. Awesome. Thank you for being in class then. And I hope to see everyone tomorrow. Okay. Thank see you. you. Thank you. Tomorrow. Good Thank night. You. Bye. 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 Bye.